Hey, home team. Oh, shit. Almost knocked the damn table over. How are y'all doing? Hey. Let me fix myself now. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. If you are new, what's up? I'm Zen, and this is The Void. Welcome to Zen in the Void, and I love you. Uh, if you're returning, y'all already know what it is it's your girl and i'm back again with another video this is virgo guidance honey for the stellar virgoans of the world and um i read for all you know all you know placements uh in your chart so um if you have virgo and sun moon rising um venus mercury jupiter like whatever your placement is in virgo this could resonate for you so please check that out see what your placement is and if it resonates for you and you're not even a virgo you know you could just be in your virgo energy and not even know it you know what i'm saying this could just be a message that was meant to find you so welcome i'm so happy to have you and i'm happy to announce that i had i was having a bad flare due to like my chronic uh condition uh, is linked into stress and diet and all kinds of outside factors so i basically had to take like two three days just to really like de-stress myself um you know just kind of take care of myself and um you know stuff like that so that's what i did i feel amazing my swelling has gone down a bit you know not too much swelling is happening anymore everything is like moving and grooving i'm so happy when y'all when if y'all only knew the fact that like when i do this without medicines or anything like that i feel very good i feel accomplished so i just want to announce that share that good news and then share this great news that i got from virgo I already pulled a lot of cards and i stopped because i got overwhelmed because the fucking the the vibes were so high the vibes were so good you guys are being so flexible and i'm so happy to say that uh there is some things going on virgo but nothing too bad it's just kind of like some inner truth you know what i'm saying so let's you know with all further ado let's hop right into the reading honey and see what's really going on and also what was i gonna say yeah outside of that uh shit what was i gonna say i'm so sorry we're almost three minutes in here uh uh, I hate when I do that, but um, you know, maybe it'll come back to me. I'm just gonna hop into the reading. So, first of all, Virgos, you guys got the four pinnacles out in the upright, so there was some type of um conversation that was had there was some type of communication or understanding that came into your life that had you realizing, you know, I should be more frugal and secure about myself and, and everything involved in my life. So Virgos have definitely tapped into some inner security. You're being frugal. You're trying to like counter coin, keep it in your pocket, and you're trying to, you know, secure yourself and, and secure things in your life, which is a great thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, you had some type of breakthrough, some type of uh, clarity, uh, an epip epiphany your mind is sharp you have a clear uh, sense of mind virgos that's beautiful so you definitely realize something uh, and that's probably why you're trying to be frugal be more secure with yourself because you realize something and it's clear to you um after that uh, it's gonna get deeper so it's probably gonna let us know why most likely um but we got the lover's card here in the reverse so with that being said there was some type of partnership some type of dual union some type of uh, something that was supposed to be harmonious, something that was supposed to be uh, union, something, you know, that brought you together with another person or something, uh, you know, with, with love at the center of it, you know, and it's in the reverse. So, you know, maybe the breakthrough that you had that caused you to be secure and more frugal with yourself and your coin and all that was because you had a loss of balance you you probably went ahead uh you guys had a decision to make last time i did a reading and take this as it resonates it could be for a few or it could be for a lot of you but maybe you made a decision and you realized or that conversation or that clarity of mind that realization could have been towards something having to do with a love relationship or some other kind of union this could be friend job family take it as it resonates but you realize there was a loss of balance it's one-sided there's disharmony it's not a harmonized situation uh you were probably doing all the work by yourself and um you know, that was just the reality of the situation. After that, we got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, Virgo. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse is about clinging to control, but also having no control. So you're trying to cling to control and just, you know, 
uh, having bad luck because of that. So maybe you were, uh, some of you were clinging to this one-sided relationship, whatever in your life that this, this partnership that was not harmonized um, or balanced. You could have been clinging to trying to control elements of it or control the outcome, but you have no control in it or the outcome. Uh, you probably realize you have bad luck, which is probably why the Four of Pentacles is the overall energy of this entire reading. The, 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 like, basically the knowing that there was a conversation or some type of evidence that came into play that showed you I have to be secure uh, with myself and my energy and my pinnacles and my love and my, and my feelings. And I have to be secure. You know, I have to keep security in my life. Um, so, you know, that that's good you know that's the overall energy of the entire reading so that's where you are now you're just trying to like hold yourself together and keep it together so um also what i got virgo not just about a love relationship but you know you got the four of wands here in the reverse that's about the lack of having a lack of support you know all these changes transients you know home conflict so you know with this whole reading i kind of get the vibe virgos that a lot of you have not only lost a love relationship or realized that a love relationship, partnership, friendship, job wasn't for you and you lost it. You tried to cling to it, but you lost it, um, you know, and that's probably why you were grieving. I also got the, the three of swords came out, but I put it back because I thought, it, you know, it wasn't supposed to come out. But I'm feeling like you guys may be dealing with some a little bit of heartbreak because of this. Not big heartbreak like you have in the past, but definitely a sense of heartbreak that... Um, you know over these things maybe um it, it this card like i said is about lack of support and home conflicts so not only did you lose a love relationship or a partnership or, or maybe something involving family and home life uh, but you don't have any support in these areas uh you don't have support from many people uh, on the home front and it's causing a lot of conflicts uh with you know for you with these people you know and in this arena of life there's so many changes going on you don't really understand it but you know you're not getting the support that you you should be receiving like let's be honest everybody deserves support we all don't get it but you're not getting it and that's probably what this breakthrough was about this ace of swords you know this clarity of mind this breakthrough you probably realize like wow i don't have any support like i thought i did these people or these relationships that i thought were for me are just not for me like if we're being honest like it's just not so that's probably why you're in this four of pentacles energy of like let me you know what let me hold down a fort let me secure the bag and secure myself because i I don't really have too many people on my side trying to support me or be here for me, you know, which happens along our journey to pretty much everyone. Um, then you got the four of cups. Sorry, sorry. You got the three of cups here. I love this card. It's so beautiful because the cups are just overflowing. Three is just an amazing number, an amazing number. Creativity, you know, manifestation, uh, security, like three is just all about creation and just oh, love it so you got the three of cups here uh, abundance this card is about friendship community happiness and it's falling under this four of uh, pinnacle so it lets me know that whatever friends or support or happiness or family you do have in your life virgo so even if it's one person two people you are holding that dear you're showing you're trying to be like okay i'm gonna secure this i'm gonna be frugal with this like i'm gonna make sure that i treat it well that i that i appreciate it and i hold and i show gratitude towards it because obviously you you, you don't even have support from your own family and your own family members some type of lover or a relationship or friendship partnership that you had that that kind of faltered you, you don't, you didn't have, you know, you didn't have support with that. But with this card being about friendships, you know, community and happiness, like spirit has blessed you with some type of support. It could be from strangers. It could be from a community. It could be from a person, people that don't even know you or haven't known you long, but they're showing you so much love and, and support. Why? Because look at these cups pouring over. That's how I know these cups are literally over pouring over for you. You deserve it, Virgo. And, and that's the thing you got to learn in your journey. Like sometimes uh, the, the blessings that we receive or the soul family, the, the, the all the abundance that we receive comes from places we didn't even expect for it to come from. Uh, so though it could be pretty sad at first, it, it turns into a beautiful situation because you're just like, well, at least I got my soul family. Let me like, you know, hold it dear, 
hold it close to me and it just gets better from here let me tell you honey because you got the nine of swords here in the upright this 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 card is pretty bad it's about trauma you know and anxiety and and just being hopeless but it's in the reverse so you have hope virgo and you're reaching out when you're in despair and that's what's gaining you this three of cups that's what's getting you your real soul tribe your real soul family because when you're in a space of you know disparity and feeling like wow I'm, I'm going through it and i need help and i need to lean on somebody i need support you're reaching out you're reaching out to people for that and it's not it's not you know out of a, a space of like woe is me you know self-pity or like you know just like entitlement like no you're reaching out from a place of purity of of love of real connection and seeking that so you're definitely reaching out uh in, in hopes of getting support and finding connection with people who are awesome for you and it's coming through because you got the three of, uh three of cups here so you're, you're definitely reaching out to to new friends new communities that are bringing happiness you got the chariot here and it just gets it just gets better. You got the chariot here, so that's movement. This is a major arcana card. It's the chariot. This is the major symbol of movement. The chariot. You literally have your horses here. You have all these like what is this? Yeah, you have like your Pegasus. There's Pegasus here. Just all kinds of like animals with wings. Just all kind of ethereal animals. And this this guy looks like he has this huge pinnacle or some type of like colorful like discs and he looks like a knight and he's just riding on this huge carriage he's on his way honey so the the chariot is just about movement you're moving along you're moving from this space of not having any support you know kind of just having to secure everything on your own to you know what i'm reaching out and, and reaching out and gaining connections with people who actually care for me so when that happens honey whoo you were already on the up and up on your own. You were already headed to the to the upper room. I don't want to say upper room because it sounds you're going to die. You ain't going to die yet. But you're, you're headed up, you know, to that deluxe apartment in the sky. You know, you got your piece of pie. You was already getting that on your own. But then you reached out to people who support you. So that just boosted your ass even further. You know, whoever that was that wasn't loving you or that friend who wasn't true, 1212, that means you're on the right path, chariot the right path forward that's what 12 12 means look up that angel number uh, number sorry i talk like that sometimes i have all these all my wisdom teeth grow in and they cause me to have like little speech impediments but anyways look up the uh, angel number 12 12 you know spirit blesses us when we make it with hope through these just these lame situations you know friends lovers families who don't support us show us any love then we reach out instead of being cold-hearted and empty and hopeless you you hold on to your heart you hold on to your hope you you secure the fucking bag you secure yourself and you reach out to people who you feel like you can trust with that newfound discernment that you've worked so hard to gain virgo and then you move the fuck forward let me show you what you've won and what you've moved forward to i'm so excited to tell you yo ten of cups that means that your dreams are coming true honey that's wish fulfillment your dreams are coming through not only are these cups like dumb overflowing like the light is just shining it's like light is shining from the top cup shining down all to other cups it's like whoa it's like what what that is wish fulfillment that's inner happiness that's pure joy and happiness that's ten of cups that's wish fulfillment the card that people wish they receive it pops up when we're about to get it but the way it popped up after this chariot card that means spirit is literally taking your ass on a chariot ride straight to your ten of cups about to drop your ass off to your dreams what that uh, that means ain't no waiting ain't, that don't mean it's close it's near maybe that means literally either you got it already or it's literally happening in a few hours tomorrow like you're getting this ten of cups a sappery just saying just saying <laughs> i was overwhelmed i had to stop pulling cards after that anymore anymore for virgo spirit oh my god what are you saying to me okay you know we got the magician in reverse which is a little a little shaky but you know 
uh, we'll, we'll read it because it's important. But you got the star here. How beautiful is that? Rest and restoration. You've been taking the rest and restoration you need to move you forward. That's what boosted you. You needed some time off. You're the star. You had to tap into that Aquarius energy. And, I, you know, I got to do something new. I got to do something different. You know, you know, you let the winds of fate carry you. You're bathing yourself in the knowledge of the cosmos and of Earth. You are rested, restored, and you're ready to move forward because you are the star. The star is a gorgeous card to have in your spread. And then uh, the, the magician came out in the reverse. So we're going to have to see what this is here for. We may have to clarify it. Because I know right off the top of my head that the magician card in the reverse is usually about using your magic to like not the detriment of others but kind of just like being a little sneaky with your magic uh something like that there's this huge description about it yeah yeah like i said it's about trickery illusions and being out of touch so maybe when it comes to your magic virgos it, it seems to me with this card like because this card is the virgo card the magician and it's in reverse what it's telling me is you're probably not in touch with yourself right now as much as you could be you know like you're you're, you're dealing with some trickery or you are giving off some trickery and some illusions and out of touch you know you're, you're kind of delusional and going through going through some illusions you're not in touch with yourself or in touch with your magic right now and let me just share something because I, I i ask spirit mentally if i could share it then mentally Spirit said, okay, let me just share this real quick. So I have gifts, hella fucking gifts, especially gifts to see the future, foresight. It's so strong, it's so strong all the time. So I, I compare it a lot to That's Our Raven because it's true. Like if you watch any show or movie about, uh, you know, psychic powers or powers to see into the future, any type of foresight or knowing, seeing, if you're a seer, uh, there's issues that come with the gift. There's lots of responsibilities that come with the gift. One thing that really has kind of caused me problems in my past is that I will literally see prophecies or see visions of the future. Uh, I'll have premonitions of things. And if I didn't like it, sometimes I would try to avoid it or change it. And if I did like it, sometimes I would try to like hurry, speed it up to get it or do certain things that lead me to it. Basically, just kind of shift my present because I saw this vision and it just like in that's our raven sometimes these things lead you to what you saw and sometimes it totally fucks up the entire you know process so uh for me personally with my gifts and my magic sometimes I purposely allow myself to be omnipresent that means just super in the present not worrying about the past not worried about the future that's kind of where I've been as of late uh so it kind of takes you out of out of touch with your your natural gifts or your out of your magic you know if that makes sense it kind of just takes you out of that magic for a second so that you're not so it sounds stupid but like not so powerful you know just kind of present just kind of not doing so much so that's what that's kind of what i've done if anybody can relate to that then maybe that's why this magician here is in reverse being out of touch it has helped me to not try to mess anything up but i feel like since it came out it could be spirit letting us know okay get back to it like you took a break and that was good it probably benefited you obviously because it led you to the freaking chariot to your fucking ten of cups like holy Hell. but now okay get back to it spirit is all like okay now we need you to do your magic more you know what i'm saying you got the freaking nine of pentacles at the bottom i just had this card so i should know exactly what this card is about but you know it's slipping my mind it's evading me so i'm gonna pull the helper card you know this is about fruits of your labor rewards and luxury so y'all are literally on y'all way to getting luxury fruits of your labor rewards and it's because you work so hard virgo this is what's due to you like you reap what you sow you have sown nothing but hard work and dedication and purity obviously if you're watching this and you want to do better and you're following spirit you're on the right track virgo you know and you're getting what you deserve because of it uh so yes things that are not for you are going to fall off because why would you want shitty people or whatever to follow you on your path on your chariot ride to your dreams. You don't want nobody fake on that chariot ride to your dreams or not for you, you know? So Spirit, why is this magician card here in reverse for Virgo? Clear and concise. Straight from you, Spirit. Separate my personal 
story, <laughs> my personal things from the mix. Why is this magician card in reverse here, spirit? Why is it here in the reverse, spirit? Clearing concise. The magician. Wow, okay. So we got the world card here, and then we got the four of swords in reverse. I mean, in the upright. So let's see here. Oh, my mouth is so dry because I'm talking so much. I've drank so much water, though. You know? So the world card in reverse is no closure, incompletion, you know? Um, and that makes sense because if the magician card is here in the reverse, and I asked why, and we got the world in reverse, talking about incompletion and no closure, it's because you know something involving your your magical uh, life, your your life in, involving alchemy, you left it incomplete, you know, with no closure, um, or something no closure that you have gotten or incompletion that you faced kind of took you out of touch and that makes sense because if I must share another thing and I just so happen to relate to this because the reason I came out of my magic and out of my alchemy for a moment is because I learned because I was trying to find closure in a situation and I didn't so I feel like me and the person I was dealing with was trying to send me all of these messages and all of these like because the other person is very magical as well they just happen to be another powerful spiritual person uh I didn't want to communicate with them or deal with the matter you know magically or indirectly or in the astrals like I wanted to do it in the physical plane so I broke myself off because I'm like I don't want to handle it like that I want you to come to me, you know, and talk and so we can work it out. So that's just me, though. And it, it might not even be the same thing, but maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe y'all just can relate or it resonates in a different way. But that's just me uh, in case that, like, sparks anything in anyone else. But anyways, the Magician card in reverse is here because there was a no closure or incompletion with the matter in your life. The Four of Swords is also here, so I'm sure that's going to let us further know what's going on with this Magician card in reverse. Yeah, rest, restoration, contemplation. So yeah, that makes hella sense. And it's just pretty much like I said, and I'm sure a lot of Virgos can relate to this because if we're always using our magic and always working hard and always trying to go forward, of course, we're going to have these moments of like, okay, I need to rest. I need to not be magic for a second. I need to just like not, you know, for a second and just kind of allow myself to be disconnected for a second because sometimes that's what you have to do to get back in the groove in a, in a with a clear sense of mind, which you have, Virgo, with this Ace of Swords here. And it's just so much other good shit happening for you. Cause, so that was definitely faded. You needed that. You needed to break yourself off from your gifts or from whatever work and alchemy that you kept putting into life. You know, you needed a, a rest, you know, because um, you didn't have closure from some sort of situation. And now Spirit is letting you know you can go ahead and, you know, you can go ahead and tap back into this, into alchemy, into the spiritual world, into the magical world. Spirit says it's okay to get back to work. And I'm definitely taking that advice. I actually took that advice as of to yesterday because I started like definitely meditating and just trying to get back connected. Uh, and I realized like I, I broke away from my higher self on purpose. You know, I didn't want to get all the information. And it's so funny because we got the Hierophant card here at the bottom of the deck, the subconscious vibe of the whole reading. And that's the hi the Hierophant is about being subver subversive, uh, rebellious. And that's what this Magician card here in reverse is about. That's kind of, you know, being out of touch, breaking away for the purpose of getting rest and, and not, you know, dealing with the lack of closure that you dealt with with another person or another situation. You kind of had to be rebellious for a second to get yourself back in order, Virgo. Good for you. Because it's taking you, leading you, riding a chariot ride to your freaking ten of cups. Like, what? I just need you to know how exciting that is. That is clear. Anything else for Virgo spirit? Well, we have a couple, like a minute or so. Let's just get a couple more messages. Anything else, spirit? Anything else for Virgos? Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so we got the Princess of Wands here. Y'all know I love the Princess of Wands. She always comes out. Sometimes I love her, sometimes I don't. If I'm doing a love reading for a girl and she has the Princess of Wands energy, I'd be letting her know, like, look, girl, if you're gonna get, if you're looking for a man or a partner, girl, whoever, whomever, you know, non-binary person, whoever it is, um, 
gender doesn't matter here i just want to say that um if you're in this princess of wands energy you have to come out of it honey because that's selfish energy that's i don't want to work with nobody i don't want to hear that noise energy so a lot of virgos are definitely in that energy where you're selfish you don't want to hear that noise from nobody else you're feeling free of any distractions any bs you are in a very explorative mood virgos Y'all are on y'all. Y'all are on some other shit. Y'all got y'all pinnacle. Y'all finna get y'all dreams fulfilled. Y'all are stingy as you should be with yourself, with your love, with your energy. It's not even being stingy. It's more so being secure. Your security. You have a little, little you outside of yourself. Like, hey, you want to come in? You want to interact? Well, what's your credentials? What you want with? What you want with this person? What you want with Virgo? How, what, what are you trying to do with Virgo's time? What are you trying to do with Virgo's energy and emotions? Oh, you don't have that? Okay, you can, you can go. Nope. I don't grant you energy. I don't, <laughs> I don't grant you entry to Virgo. Sorry. That's that Princess of Wands energy. Virgo's too busy doing her work. Virgo's too busy going on vacation. <laughs> Virgo's too busy. You're going to have to check another time. Princess of Wands, okay? Y'all about that action and you are selfish with yourself. You are secure. You are frugal with yourself. How about that? I'm going to say, CG isn't a bad word, but like you're frugal with yourself. You're like, uh-uh, I need me. I can't just give me to anybody. I just got my dr my dreams are coming true. Anything else for Virgo before we go? I love this. Ugh, Virgo, I feel us. We are, whoo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what is this? Yeah, the Hierophant in reverse. You're definitely being a little subversive right now you're being very rebellious you're doing what's unexpected of you virgo and that is getting you far and it's beautiful i'm so happy i'm so happy congratulations virgo i love you guys so much I, it's an honor to read from you thank you so much for supporting me you guys have brought my views from like in the scant amounts to like the hundred you know nine uh, not nine hundred oh i can't wait but like 90s to 100 and i'm so grateful for that i love the fact that you guys are supporting me uh thank you home team uh as far as mini reads go right now i'm putting a pause on that for a few days or i don't know how long but i'll let you guys know when i start back doing the free mini readings for the for those who reach out for them um just kind of trying to take some time to be Princess of Wands. <laughs> being a little <laughs> subversive, being a little um, rebellious. <laughs> Congratulations, Virgos. I love y'all so much. See you in the next one. Peace.